Hey guys, what's up? It's Patty from Mount Sledder. Sean and I have taken a road trip. We're out here in Vail Mount, BC. It's beautiful and the snow is deep. Come on, check it out. Hey guys, what's up? It's day one, we're here in Vail Mount, it's about 7 a.m. We're pretty excited to go. We just got here, we got in last night at about 1 a.m. So, big guy Sean's a bit tired this morning, but uh, and so am I, but we're really excited. Had a good night's sleep, but we're up early because our uh, local legend riders that are coming with us today, Curtis and Marshall, are up early and they're chomping at the bit, and we are too, frankly. It snowed like nuclear a few times on the way and uh, at other points we could see stars so it was a bit of interesting drive got in late i don't even know where we're going today i've only been here once i went to clamina it was just a really short day so didn't even really get to look around that much um just enough to get up and see some of the views over kimbasca lake which were spectacular so i don't know where we're going today i'm excited to find out but um curtis will tell us more and he's gonna sort of uh show us the way around here today, so very excited. We are in the, uh, what looks to be the beautiful town of Vail Mount. Just got here last night. Haven't seen much of it yet, but it looks to be a pretty nice place. Look at that, some sunshine. We got the local pirates showing us a good spots, hopefully. Sounds like they got some fresh snow recently, so everywhere should be good. Coming in hot to the south side. We just blew right by town. Sean was not paying attention. There's one stoplight, Sean. He does not know where he's going. This is the beauty of Vail Mount, is that there's one light and then you go into town. And here it is. That's how you know you're going into town. It's a very nice sign. Beautiful sign. Hey guys, Curtis Pollock here from Vail Mount. Um, currently I'm working as the general manager for VARDA, Vail Mountain Area Recreation Development Association. Uh, also owner operator of Frozen Pirate Snow Services, an avalanche training company uh, and guiding company out here out of Vail Mount. Uh, we're here at Allen Creek today. Stoked to show the boys from uh, Mountain Sledder Magazine around and uh, show them the goods Vail Mount has to offer. Hey, so my name is Marshall Dempster. I'm a uh, professional avalanche technician and uh, lead guide and avalanche educator based out of Vail Mount, British Columbia. I work for uh, Frozen Pirate Snow Services and uh, we're gonna show these guys around Allen Creek today. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty good day. We got some, a uh, little bit of sun poking through the clouds and a whole bunch of fresh deep snow. So we're pumped, looking forward to it. My first time here at Allen Creek, but from what I've seen so far, they have pretty good terrain for all levels. Nice uh, rolling hills, lots of gullies you can ride down. It's a very short nine kilometer trail up to the cabin. We passed, I don't know, some nice space trees right off the side of the road. There's probably two feet of fresh snow, 10 feet from the cabin. It's uh, definitely delivered so far. All right, so awesome first day here in Vail Mount out here at Allen Creek. We didn't really know what to expect driving in last night in the middle of the dark, couldn't see anything around. And it was snowing and then it was clear and we saw stars and then nuclear snow again later and 
we just kind of weren't really sure but we got in here at allen creek today and it was basically like untracked even right by the cabin but uh the guys convinced us to go a little farther back we've made it only about halfway back they say but we haven't needed to go any farther because we've just found such awesome little gullies and the snow has been untouched there's no one even back here which is amazing so it's been an awesome first day here in Vail Mount. Looking forward to checking out the town tonight, going for a little cruise around, seeing what's going on there in town, and uh, back at it again tomorrow. And I don't know where we're going. That's going to be up to uh, our champion here, I guess, but uh, we're sure looking forward to it. recommended gathering tree for breakfast. Apparently the best breakfast burrito in town. So we're gonna get some of those. Hey guys, here we are, it's day two of our Vail Mount trip. Went to bed early last night, got an awesome relaxing sleep in, and here we are out this morning. We're checking out a new zone, one that I've never been to, Sean's never been here either, it's called Oasis. And so this is one of Vail Mount's unmanaged areas. Uh, there's about four or five different unmanaged areas to go along with the five managed areas that have the groomed, you know, the really uh, popular places like Clamina, Allen Creek, uh, Chapel. But yeah, we're up here in Oasis. We just broke up into the trees. We've got a little bit of cloud that we're dealing with right now, but it was beautiful blue this morning and the snow was deep on the way in. We had to break the trail in, so it was super awesome coming up through some trees. And now we're just kind of in the beginning of the zone. And we're just waiting for the light to break before we head farther back into it. Uh, this zone has a lot of uh, alpine bowls and lots of fun features and gullies and stuff like that. And it goes way back, it's huge. So. Uh, we're just basically waiting for that to happen and in the meantime we're going to play down in some of the trees right here the snow is awesome we're really looking forward to another great day out here in Vail Mount. i hope i close my camera bag better stop and have a look there Oh yeah, everything's closed up tight, except these aren't on. All right, here we are guys. Day two, Bail Mount. Having a great time. Curtis from Ride Bail Mount and Barda taking us around. This is Oasis. Now Curtis tells us that Oasis is, there's trees and stuff to ride certainly, but there's kind of like a bit of a, Lynch pin area that you kind of have to go through and then once you get through that that's that spot requires a bit of technical ability to get through but we haven't even got there yet and there's like lots of good tree riding down here Woo! but we hope to get there today it's just unfortunately it was beautiful blue this morning when we uh, woke up and we're driving and as we got up in here just sucked in but hey man that's mountain riding and if you don't like it wait five minutes that's what they say so sitting up here at the ridge top of oasis kind of top of the first second bowl um, you know when you come to oasis this is what you deal with we have a uh, 
bit of a crux feature here, quite a drop down. Some people call it the drop of doom, the filter, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is a must-do situation to get us into that second bowl. Um, massive, massive terrain, beautiful features. Uh, and then once we, you know, if we were lucky enough to be able to get down there today, move through this second bowl, it's bowl after bowl, alpine terrain, um, you know, some really cool little tunnels, some good tree riding, really nice little valleys. It's a big, big area. You have to come in here on some good weather. You know, days like this, you're just basically rolling the dice. Um, you know, we want to be safe when we're coming in here. It, it is quite a large area. The climb out of the drop of doom here can be pretty, uh, pretty intense if you can't see. So we're just trying to wait out that light, um, hoping we get it and seeing if we can head on an adventure.